In this video, we're going to go over the process of how to wrap an image in perspective, where I'm going to take the ocean and I'm going to wrap it around this room. The first thing that you want to do is set up some perspective lines. So I'm going to go down to the line tool, which is the keyboard shortcut is U. And I'm going to make sure that both the um, that the fill is red, and the stroke is going to be um, non. So it's got a little slash through it. And I'm going to drag from the corners of this room. What I'm doing is I'm trying to find the vanishing point. This process is very useful for all kinds of things when you're adding elements to a photograph that has a sense of distance and perspective. Um, and so for this final one, because I don't exactly know where the room ends over there, I'm actually just going to start from the center and draw it out. And that way I'll have an understanding of where it should end. I'm also going to um, put in the areas that are important. In this case, it would be the corners of the room. And I'm going to put in the line that shows me the largest section that I'm going to be taking. So in this case, it is from the left-hand top corner of the room. And now I'm going to go down to the bottom corner of the room as well. This will make sure that the selections I take are the same height, which is important. Next, I'm going to go over to the Layers palette, and I am selecting all of those layers, and I'm going to put them into a group and call them Perspective. And these lines are dark enough, uh, wide enough. If I needed them to be more intense, I could just duplicate that layer or that group. I'm going to now click back to the background and I'm going to go over to, I also have the ocean file open. Using the move tool, which is keyboard shortcut V, I press and drag from the center of the image up to the tab I want to go to, back into the image and now let go. And that places my image within the scene. And I'm just going to align it I might reduce the opacity just a bit to see where it's going to go. Um, I'm aligning it with the top of my selection, partially because there's some elements at the bottom that I don't want to be in there. If I didn't, then you could align it anywhere, just making sure that what you need is in between these this top and bottom lines. Now I'm going to the Marquee tool, which is keyboard shortcut M and I'm going to draw a selection and it's a good idea to have um, snap selected. That's going to help that selection line up to your guidelines. I'm going to copy and paste and I'm going to make that layer invisible, the layer of the full um, ocean. And I'm going to now Command T, which is a free transform. Hold down the Command key, press and drag to line it up to those corners where the wall and the room meet. And then hit the Enter key. Now I'm going back to the original, make it visible using the marquee tool. Now if I drag, start to drag where I don't want to, before I let go of the mouse I can just hold down the space bar and realign it to where I should be. It's better to have a little bit of overlap than a gap and so I'm going to get my selection, copy and paste, and while I'm here I'm going to go back to that layer and I'm going to now take the selection for the other side of the room and you'll notice that it is a bigger uh, section than I would need because that wall is a little bit shorter but that's okay. 
uh, because I need them to line up. So it's got to be the same top and bottom. So copy and paste. I'm going to make the background, the original layer invisible. And I'm going to put it and all of the other ocean layers into a group, new group from layers and call that ocean. I'm going to open that just so I can now go in. And so now let's go to the center one, Command T, hold down the Command key, and align it with the corners, which are actually a little bit different on each side because the room's slightly skewed. And that looks pretty good. Hit enter and go 